Hi friends, Wizdy here. Welcome to a new Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're not talking about Fire Knight. This is for the Titan event, which is partially what we'll talk about today. But yeah, a lot of content creators, and I mean at least four or five of them. Well, that's not a lot. That's a few. But yeah, a good number of content creators created videos criticizing what's happening in the game right now. And the overall like perception for in-game players is negative. I released a video a couple of days ago, I'm not sure how many days by the time you see this, saying that the experience has enhanced from last year to this year for new free-to-play players. Early, this early to mid game uh, area has been enhanced, quality of life improvements, the free champs they are giving us, so I'm not taking this back. But the experience for in-game players who've been playing for over two years, that's been going like worse and worse uh, for a while now uh, because like if you are at that level of in game plarium doesn't care about you unless you're like buying packs and even if you're buying packs this is becoming more and more aggressive so we'll discuss this today because i believe still there is some positiveness around this that we can look at as a silver lining so let's discuss what's happening here this is one of the videos that was out from ash a couple of days ago and it was just titled a new rock bottom the thumbnail you might have you might see it behind me in my videos thumbnail ash was talking about how the the event structure was which is exactly the same like if we look at it like this is another video from saf from hh gaming network this is a video from cool red dear plarium what's that <laughs> because he, he is also i think that cool red cool red is very good at if you're not following him of course he, he's worth a follow there uh, is very good at like making points and summarizing stuff he's he's always very organized in his mind in what he wants to say so yeah watch his point he makes great points there and then j gigs made a video commenting about reacting to Corey's video and then nubraids made made a video reacting to j gigs reaction to <laughs> uh Reed's video that's a an hour and a half come on nubraids yeah if you're doing mowing the lawn or something maybe you'd listen to that but yeah, so these are the videos from different content creators all stating the same thing. That something I mentioned, I'm not sure which video I released first, uh, doing the champ chase with, with the ancient, that this is personally, though I'm like, I've been playing for that long, the first Titan event that I chased like all the way to the five star soul. Uh, what I did a part previous times is that I just changed the two star soul or the three star soul, depending on what events comes up during the titan event but titan events come after fusions you're already exhausted from like being pinned to the game for two weeks to tackle those events and then they hit you with a titan event which is as everybody's describing it it's like two fusions just after each other and then of course as soon as the titan event is over you will have the next fusion which might be a good or a bad one or whatever i'll, I'll just summarize why everybody's upset but then I'll come to where I think this might, there might be a positive angle to it. Let me know if you agree or disagree. The negative side of it is that being that st like stressed to being pinned to the game for four weeks. The thing is, it's not even about resources. Like I've been advising you to skip a few fusions in the past if they are not that good. No FOMO, no whatever. Just relax and enjoy the game. Build different teams or do whatever. Or just relax and pile resources. Play the game less and enjoy your life. Till a good event comes, like Thor. Thor is worth worth like chasing in a fusion and worth the souls that we're chasing now for the five star. So I skipped like four fusions recently in the past months. So resource wise, I'm not ex that exhausted. The real exhaustion comes from time. The events has very short time. You cannot miss anything if you want Thor, Thor and then if you want the five star soul. With a bit of misinformation from Plarium about not letting us know that the titan events will be in the extra summon rush so we could have planned our resources better the main thing for me is time it's not resources at all you can skip events and pile resources especially if you're in game you've seen amount of resources i'm piling on my uh, main account till a good event comes then you can easily tackle it with no stress at all the main thing is that it's about time you're asking us for four weeks not to miss anything and to be pinned to the game 
and that doesn't fit with the lives of like the age range of the players playing this game we're talking about 30s and early 40s even mostly so these guys got lives and families and like other stuff that they need to do and they don't want to miss on that so you're giving them a very hard choice again this is focused on in-game players to yes whatever i'm going to skip it plarium but then the game will become even more boring for in-game players so you need to give us some leeway there these events to be structured properly and to cater for in-game events early early make game players will struggle with the events anyway so what i would recommend for every fragment fusion or traditional one with epics and rare give us at least permanently two more events just to boot the event uh, that's more like shards and and uh, gems and energy for you so it's maybe it's not a bad thing after all but give us two more events of a different nation that are not summon related because that's something else that i think j gigs uh, highlighted in his video is that the extra event if you want to skip some events in the uh, fusion or whatever or uh, the titan event is always summon related to push you to buy packs you can have those shards saved over time so that might not be a big issue there but give us different types of events like if you're adding two events to a fusion to give us extra fragments or a couple of more rares or whatever don't make them summon like don't make it three summon events give us another champ training or dungeon divers or whatever so people can choose that yes i'm building five champions right now i'm skipping this summon event and i'm going for the champ training or dungeon divers because i need better gear for my team or whatever give us that leeway people will still play the game people will still spend time on it but the pressure would be less because yes timing games a factor for you and all of that stuff whatever i'm not sure even how relevant this is in today's gaming uh, like world but the main thing is that make this time enjoyable um, don't pressure us if i have something at work or in personal life today i can skip an event without the pressure of just like yeah i have to do it at night or early morning or whatever not to miss whatever i want not to miss in the game yes it's a choice i can miss the whole thing i can even stop playing the game but <laughs> this is not what you want is it you want people to continue enjoying this game for longer so this is what everybody's frustrated about angry about in-game players and they have all the right to be i'm also frustrated my feeling personally and I talked about it also yeah let me just tell you because i'm not sure which one i release first i'm not only chasing the titan points i'm chasing whatever is after them i'm burning all of my resources in my main and alt if the end goal like the end uh, uh, reward for an event is a primal shard i'm burning more resources and i'm getting it if it's a soul stone i'm burning more resources and i'm getting it because being stressed for four weeks even if the next fusion is a good one i might skip it anyways I just need that time to relax i don't have time with work and life and everything to focus on a few videos that i want to create for you because i'm just tackling those events like my fire night team is running because i need to finish this today i have other stuff on the weekend so i cannot create a video showing you arena for an hour or so because it takes a lot of time to record these videos anyways that's content creator stuff but main thing is give us that margin uh, to be relaxed Players so now let's talk about the silver lining here main thing and again that's for in-game players uh, early game mid game players got a positive experience they just need thor they don't need to chase probably they don't have resources to chase the five star soul anyways but they have a great champion with loki and wukong and ninja and all of the good stuff we talked about in the previous video so they are enjoying their life early mid game with a great game that proved itself to be enjoyable for a long time in-game players whether paid or free to play or whatever are starting to get bored which is understandable with centranos like some problems with centranos is okay i enjoy it too a little bit uh, though like the rng factor was like the, the rooms and building champs and amias anyway centranos and siege now like didn't hit big with the in-game players so we tend to skip more and more stuff just doing the dailies passively and piling resources and that's a sign that someone like if anything happens in his life or he gets too frustrated at the game and stop playing for a week probably he's never coming back that's the reality but the positive thing here is that okay we've been playing this game like i'm still playing mainly for content creation to be honest 
the game in itself doesn't interest me that much like i said because i've invested it's a habit and i've invested so much time in it over the past four years i have friends playing the game so i like to talk to them about what's happening it's more about the community and content creation more than the game itself at this point for me but if you're not doing that just relax okay you have an hour that you're working focusing on work or like going out with friends don't look at the game continuously what if you skip a couple of events you skipped Armand fusion you see content creators and in-game players talking about that they skipped Armand's fusion so what what did they lose they are still enjoying the game I skipped a few fusions, so I try to keep in track with the important ones, at least for the content. And I'm still enjoying the game to the degree that I want. I, I've beaten the whole game. I got Marius. I, yeah, I literally beaten the whole game by now. Highest levels and everything. So my message to in-game players, don't be frustrated. Don't be angry. Just skip them. If you've seen my luck with primal shards and soul stones, I don't have anything major on my account and I'm still enjoying it. I, I have only Mikagi and the only like six star I got from the shop probably was a Chronam and that I bought over time, which took me almost a year or more. So that's the thing. Just relax and enjoy the game. If you're not enjoying it this much, that's fine. You can stop playing it. You can stop playing for a couple of months and then come back. A fusion interests you every three, four months. Just do it. You have enough resources for the titan event or you buy a couple of packs just do it but just don't get frustrated skip what you want enjoy the game the way you want it if you want to get higher numbers in hydra because you're enjoying enjoying that ignore everything else and focus on this if you want to farm gear because you're like an arena enthusiast and want to like fight at high level live arena or whatever just do that if you have the right champions of course that's the kraken part here but the main thing is just relax and enjoy the game that's that's just my point it's not worth being frustrated over life has enough frustrations and disappointments outside of the game for us to do that either enjoy the game and continue playing it or not rant videos negative videos will always get views i cannot even promise you i won't do a few of these if something in the game frustrates me first to share and second because it gets views and views and stuff uh, people always interact with the negative more than the positive, unfortunately. But let's just interact with, with the negative videos as much as you want. Uh, rant out, uh, like just blow some steam and express your feelings. But at the same time, the main feeling about a game should be positive or just don't play it. Just relax and enjoy. That's what I'm trying to do right now with, the, with our busy lives. Um, and I won't rant for longer now. That was enough ranting. Thank you for tuning in today. I'll see you next time. Bye.